Hi, so in this video, I'll be showing the demo of my project quadcopter control uh, using deep reinforcement learning and hand gestures. So in this video, I'll be showing the results in the simulation part only. And to get started, let us just SSH into the board. And you have to connect the board to the Wi-Fi. The commands to connect to the Wi-Fi are given in my in my repo, which you can just copy paste, and then you can clone the repo. I have already cloned the repo, so I'll just go inside the repo and launch the VNC server so that we can view the results of the camera. So now VNC is running, and uh, I will just mention that the IP address is the same as of 496. Let's see the VNC server and let us go inside the repo. So first make sure the IP address uh, of the simulator is the same as that of Alpha 96 and just launch the simulator. And the, the keyboard and the, and the camera have already been connected. And the camera has been calibrated for the HSP values of the of the blue globe, which I'll be waiting for providing the hand gesture. So this is the command which is given in my my readme, and you can just simply run this command, and it will first connect to the simulator and then calibrate the, the background uh, for background subtraction for the first few, few seconds. Idea. So the quad you can see the quad has already been reached uh, to the original set point and you can just change the set point while holding the C key which is the one attached to the Ultra 96 uh, to the keyboard which is attached to the Ultra 96. So and you can just move the hand slowly with the first gesture as uh, all fingers open and you can observe the movement along the Y axis. Similarly, moving hand up and down will move the quad along the axis. You have to do it slow because the camera attached to the Ultra 96 will be uh, slower, has lower frame rate. And for the second gesture, which is just the first, no fingers detected, it will move the quad along the x axis to make it uh, go away and uh, to make it come back. So that's it for this video and thanks for watching.